welcome to the yellow and luna channel on today's video i'm going to be opening up a large size yoki called star globe this is my first time unboxing a full size pop mart figure on this channel so i hope you guys enjoy this video and do you guys collect any full size pop mart figurines i really like them and think they're adorable they are a bit more on the expensive side though, so I probably wouldn't collect very many of them, but this one from Yoki I just couldn't resist, and as you can see in the background, I have my full case of Yoki which I unboxed in a previous video. And if you didn't get a chance to watch that video and you wanted to, you can click up right now or check out the description. I will put a link to it if you want to check it out. But let's go ahead and open up this full case. I am so excited. So it does have plastic around it, so let me just get that off and then we'll get into unboxing it. Let's go ahead and have a look at the box now that I've gotten the plastic off of it. So we have the holographic font up here where it says Star Globe Yoki. And down here it says Pop Mart X Yo Yo Yuang, who is the artist behind Yoki. And it is beautiful. I love the colors for this box. It's just super cool and a really, really nice box. For some reason, it kind of reminds me of Hollow Taco, which is the nail polish that I like to wear pretty often on my channel but it looks like something from holo taco for some reason it's just really cool and definitely has the whole universe planet themes like the series that i have behind me for my little planets and then on the side here it just kind of looks like a water marble and says pop mart and holographic and then in the back here we have all of the information and then the official sticker so that you know it is the real one and this side is the same as the other side pretty much and then at the top we just have the signature of yo-yo yuing in holographic font as well i really really like this i definitely think i'm gonna display this box somewhere on a shelf because it is really cool and these boxes feel really good I don't think there would be any way for this figurine to come damaged or anything like that because this figure is really well kept in here and there's going to be a lot of foam. You will notice that this box is going to be quite a bit bigger than the actual figure that we get inside because they do package it with a ton of foam to make sure that it doesn't get damaged. So let's go ahead and open this up. So you can see here we have the side here so you can just wiggle the top up perfect oh and it looks like we have a big card that comes with it oh I absolutely love this one it looks like the front of the box just smaller wow that's really cool I might actually use that as a print on my wall because I really like this drawing so much and I love the fact that it's holographic font as well they definitely didn't skimp on the details for this card. It looks beautiful. And then we have a foam here. So as you can see, it's a lot of foam. So we'll take off the first layer of foam. And then we can go ahead and have a look inside. So we are going to get the silica packs that Pop Mart puts in all of their figures. And then we have the figure inside of plastic, inside of more foam. All right, so we have the plastic here, and let's go ahead and take this apart. I don't think there's going to be much assembly with this one. It looks like it's almost complete, but let's have a look and see. So we do have additional bubble wrap around some of the more delicate parts. So let's take it out. And here we go. Let's get some of this bubble wrap out. And then we have some plastic here. Oh, and here. So there we go, we got all of the plastic off of it and I don't think there is any assembly at all. It is complete and I noticed something when I was unwrapping it. It seems to move. That is so cool. Oh, I really love that. So it kind of can do a swivel. Oh, and we have a cute little Yoki design on the back here. 
these parts definitely feel very plasticky. They are very fragile and very flimsy for the kind of clear star whooshes. This one feels a bit better quality than this, but this one seems like it could break pretty easily. And then we have the ones down here as well. And Yoki looks incredible just sleeping on the inside of it. This definitely looks a lot like the photo. So the comparison between the photo and the actual figure I think is really good. I wish the crystals on the bottom looked a bit more like the photo and were a lot more noticeable. I don't even think on the camera you guys can really see the cool crystal details at all. It kind of just looks like nothing on camera. And in person too, it's kind of the same. So let's have a close up look at this and have a look at all of the different features. So we have the beautiful kind of pale greeny blue color. And then we have the purple and white Yoki. And then we have the blue kind of outfit that Yoki wears and it is pearlescent. And it's kind of like a purple periwinkle pearlescent to the blue. And there is crystals in the back. I don't know how well you can see those, but we do have some blue clear crystals kind of on the side of Yoki, but they're not that noticeable unless you're kind of looking at them from this angle. Definitely straight on, you don't see them at all. And Yoki looks beautiful. <laughs> I love the expression and the colors. I really like the character Yoki. I think it's really cute. I don't know specifically what animal it's supposed to be, but it does look like some kind of flying squirrel, marsupial type of animal, maybe a bat. I think the ears remind me of a bat or a flying squirrel. I think there's some form of squirrel that has ears like this, but if you know who it's kind of inspired by, let me know. And then in the back here, we have the Yoki in silver with a bunch of stars on the back of this sphere. And you can kind of see the little access points for the rotation at the top here and the bottom. They're kind of this blue gem color. And there's a lick. Normally it's like this, so it'll be covered by all the crosses but when it swivels, you can really see the design. And then this is the back of the figure, if it's not moved at all. I really like this big axis here. This seems really solid, the one that has the star signs and everything on it. And then let's have a look at this base. So the base is gold and a navy blue with some yellow stars and moon details on the bottom looks really nice and then we have the kind of aquamarine crystals again here but as I said they're not very big or very noticeable I definitely think they could have been bigger in size and covered up more of the base here you can see a lot of that kind of gunmetal color I think they should have been wide enough that the crystals go all the way to this edge here and you don't see any of that gunmetal I think that would have looked a lot nicer for the base. I definitely think the only things that kind of turn it down in terms of quality are the two lines here. This one actually seems to be a lot more solid and well in place. This one up here is pretty free floating, but it might have been something that wasn't possible. If you allow this to move, they might not have been able to make this one as sturdy as the other ones. So it might just be part of the design that's intentional so that it has the ability to move without anything breaking. And we have the bottom one here, which is covered in stars. I really, really like this one. I kind of wish the purple kind of line was a bit lower so it didn't cut off the star. You can see in the uh, picture here for the figure that it's supposed to be kind of right on the edge of it or on the underside of it where mine's on the top side and it covers the beautiful detail of that beautiful star. This one does look very similar though. This one looks like the figure but this one doesn't. 
and for me this figure was just around a hundred dollars i did get it when it was on sale so i think i saved like ten dollars so i got it for ninety dollars canadian so in us that's probably like what seventy dollars so it is a pretty expensive figure and i definitely think the quality of them is very similar to what you get with their smaller figures the main difference is definitely just the size between the smaller blind box ones and then the larger figures. And of course it's not a blind box so you know exactly what you're getting. So let's grab one of the figures in the back and compare the two together so we can see the similarities between the two and the size difference. I thought we would compare these two because they are a very similar color to each other, a similar expression as well. And you can definitely see the difference in the size. This one is definitely a lot bigger compared to the smaller one. It's double the height. And in terms of the width, the base is pretty similar in terms of the width of the figure. But the figure, when you're looking at the top, is kind of twice the size. So it definitely is a lot bigger and takes a lot more material to make. So that definitely explains the price difference. And since we're comparing that, let's compare the cards too. So this is our ginormous Star Globe Yoki card, and this is our teeny tiny My Little Planets card. <laughs> no comparison at all. This definitely would make a great wall print if you really like the design. I really like the Star Globe figure from Yoki. It is so pretty, and I love the fact that it moves. I think I'll probably display it from this angle. I think this angle looks the closest like the image on the front and is just the cutest uh, way to display. He looks so cute and this figure goes so well for the My Little Planet series. All of these look incredible together. I definitely think I'm going to try and display them beside each other. I think that would have the maximum effect of how cute this is going to look. And besides the minor issues I had with some of the clear, cheaper plastic parts, I definitely think this figure has good quality and definitely stays true to the image inspiration. And I think it's really cute overall. What do you think about Pop Mart larger size figures? Do you own any? Would you own any? Or are you on the fence? They definitely are a lot more expensive than the blind boxes. I think I would own a lot more of their larger figures if they were just a little bit cheaper. Like if they were around like the $70 Canadian price range, $50 US price range, I think that's more reasonable of a price for them. I think for this though, if I was going to spend around $100 for a figure, I would probably buy like an anime figurine of a character I really like. But I hope you like this video and you enjoyed watching me unbox my full size Star Globe Yoki. I absolutely love this figurine and think it is beyond cute. And I will be back next week with our first Halloween video. I have three different Halloween videos coming up for the month of October and I hope you guys are excited. I hope you have a great rest of the night and a good weekend.